Hey, what is going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life, in the crazy life that is a digital asset space. Good morning and happy Wednesday to you. Bitcoin mining. Yeah, yeah, it just adapts and adjusts to, to, to the current market conditions. Electricity, energy, yeah, we'll just figure it out. Primarily house in China. Yeah, we'll just go to a different place. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> that is what's going to happen for sure. What's going on, Key? Let's get to see you. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. And there's a lot of news going on. A lot of news. We're going to cover a couple of things. <laughs> the SEC. Uh, SEC is looking to block the request from Ripple to bring in some former SECs, but why though? <laughs> we'll talk about that as well, but let's get on that bridge. Oh, we had 2.5 trillion in the market. Not yet. Thomas is checking in from India. Good morning, my brother. Good to see you. Yes, I do. Uh, time frame, not sure, but yes, I do, Thomas. Brooklyn on the bridge. Flare Networks is a monster. It's a monster. Are you participating? OE312 is checked in. What's going on, my friends? Good to see you. Music for the soul right there, my friends. Look at Josh is in the building. What's going on, bro? How's the family? Be careful of those who can't respect other communities. Be careful. Be careful of the content creators that can't seem to pronounce Dogecoin correctly. Be careful. If they can't respect other communities, they're not going to respect you and yours. Be careful. South Texas Celsian is in the building. What's going on in the UK, bro? You get any word about that? Ha, you get any word about that, my friend? What's going on in the UK and Celsius? I haven't got the I haven't got the low down and the skinny. Interesting stuff from what I'm hearing. Bits and pieces of what I'm hearing. Lone Rider Curtain is in the building. What's going on, my friend? Hey, how, how are you? Hope you got my response to your email. I did respond back, bro. I definitely did respond back for sure. So, guys, this Bitcoin mining, they're gonna just adapt and adjust as necessary. Thinking, uh, oh, Trevor, what's going on, Trevor? Good to see you. Great to see you. Yeah, I'm enjoying it over there, Trevor. I am enjoying it. My guy, high altitude investing. It wouldn't play for me, Josh. It would not play. TikTok would not play. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, high altitude. I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm enjoying it there. I really am. Both the Discord and being the VIP um, as well. He helps people make money. He really does. He really does. I'm looking forward to the bear market with him because he helps people in the bear as well. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I heard about the official statements coming soon. And all. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, I heard about that South Texas Celsius. Yep, definitely did. Interesting uh, that that's, yes, interesting stuff there. So in any case, Bitcoin is kind of doing its thing. We're going to cover that as well in terms of what's going on with the mining. But for me, the market's recovering cool, but it's recovering from, you know, a week or so being down. So until we get to 2.5 trillion, how else are you making money? Because you're down otherwise. How else are you making money on a daily and weekly and monthly basis? Very, very, very crucial. By the way, that it was 1,200 ultimately deposited, 1,200 in CRV. And uh, yeah, that thing's over $9 now. Interesting stuff. The value of the asset deposited is down. Yet the income earned is going up. That, my friends, is what it's all about. Because transactions happen when the market is great and when the market is down. Transactions happens when people deposit and when people withdraw. Fees are accumulated. But are you participating in that phenomenon? Where fees are accumulated up when the market is bull, when the market is bear, when transactions are deposited and when transactions are withdrawn, are you participating in an ecosystem like that? That is the key. The appreciation of the asset, well, very little control on that. Very little control. That's right. So let me share with you guys what I got going on over here on convex uh, convexfinancial.com. Just to share a little bit before we get into the news. If I can find it, where is it? There it is. And I believe I got to switch over the network, but we'll see. See, do I have to switch? Do I have to switch? That thing was just nine oh eight. Oh no, it was just eight dollars and ninety eight cents. About nine thirty. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, I'm loving it. What we got? Is it on the right one? Yeah, it is. Cool. So you guys know we deposited some CRV into this platform. Uh. 837.96 CRV. Today's value is $1,275. The total value locked in that thing there is 57 million, up 3 million from yesterday. Earned $9.62. Are you checking? Are you catching what's going on here? Now, Convex is a way to boost the regular curve finances that you would get on curve.finance. But again, I say to you, are you capturing your portion, your share of a platform that has transactions going on in the bear market, bull market, when the assets deposited are going up or going down? Fees are accumulated. Are you participating in an ecosystem like that? I, I believe ultimately the market is going to realize that it is not about asset appreciation, that it is no longer about buying and holding. It's about cash flow. How can we create cash flow? Right. And like my mentor always said to me, Siege, find out where. Everyone else is going and then get there first. Where do you think this, where do you think the digital asset space is moving for the retail investor? <coughs> what do you think that, where do you think is moving from proof of work to proof of stake to consensus to other, all kind of other proofs? What do you think is going? I think the Flare Network's got an idea 
about that as well. But in any case, so there it is there. I wanted to share that with you guys you know, kind of on a daily basis. Very, very interesting platform. Very, very interesting platform. This is what you get when you decide to make a claim. You'll get... CRV, 3CRV, and Convex's token. Now, you can, you can, I, I, I'm certain, I'll probably wait to 10 bucks. We'll see. I probably should do it by seven days versus a dollar amount. But you can, you know, claim these and then redeposit. So you would be redepositing the CRVs and then staking the CVX. Kind of to, to compound, right? To compound, if you will. So I probably would do that later on today. I'm going to hang out with my grandbaby. <laughs> uh, so I won't do it. I won't, I won't do it after I get off the stream. But do you guys see what I'm saying here? Do you see what I'm saying here? Yeah. And Curve.Fi has their thing. Convex is a, a version if you will, a subsidiary of Curve given boosted CRV. You <laughs> that was crypto siege is funny. <laughs> Where are you going? What is I don't have no idea what that means. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Phone call you? I don't know, maybe. Just tell me what you said. the card. Huh? Oh, you got it set? Oh, okay. Instacart is in motion? I'm going to go to post office and Instacart. Okay, post office and then Instacart. Love it. So this is, think about it, consider it, ponder it. Ponder, ponder. She's taking the machine. So ponder, if that makes sense to you. It does to me. And this is just in preparation, again, for when moon... When moon, how are you going to deploy your capital? Are you going into the dirty, nasty fiat ecosystem? How are you going to deploy when moon? Is it going to be 10 grand? Keyless, is it going to be 10 grand? Is it going to be 50 grand in December and January of 2022? December of 2021 and January of 2022. What's it going to be? How are you going to deploy it? How much is going to be on Celsius, the monster that's Celsius, and how much is going to be deployed elsewhere to create <laughs> cash flow? How are you going to balance your sheet? How are you going to um, navigate through your assets and your debt? What platforms are you going to take advantage of? 0.3% in fees, 0.2% in fees. Are you going to go with your crypto? where you are treated best. Flare Networks is a spot for you to go to where you're treated best. <laughs> I believe that 10,000%. All right, so what do we want to cover? A lot of people say Bitcoin is this and the mining is that and electricity is this and all this other kind of stuff. The challenge with those is all you're doing is you're bringing up the obvious now that we identify the challenge, is there a solution? Is there a solution? And what's going on with PayPal? What in the world? What's going on with PayPal? Let me share the Yahoo news first, because I think this is important. Some real guys in the building. What's going on, dude? Uh, let's share what's going on on Yahoo with you guys first. Yahoo, Yahoo, there it is. I want you to think about this for a second. Stronghold Digital Mining raises $105 million to turn waste coal into Bitcoin. You know, we can talk ESG all we want. Bottom line is a solution to the problem. There's just not a problem hanging around and looming a gray cloud over the digital asset space 
and the digital asset Bitcoin, it's just not a gray cloud looming. There's a solution to the challenge. Right. So here it is here. The fight for clean energy power cryptocurrency mining move forward Tuesday as Stronghold Digital Mining, a digital asset miner powered by, guess what, alternative energy. Announced a $105 million funding round, $105 million funding round. The raise comes from two private placements of equity securities with investors being granted registration rights that require a future public listing. Stronghold told Coindesk. Investors include MG Capital, various family offices, and Greg Beard, a former senior partner at private equity firm Apollo Global Management. Isn't that interesting? Beard is listed as Stronghold's co chairman and CEO. Let me let me let me let me let me make sure I read this very read this, you know, make sure you understand this part here. The Pennsylvania company. That, I believe, is the Pennsylvania in the good old U.S. of A. So BlackRock can be talking all that BlackRock stuff. You got miners coming to Texas. You got. Mining companies in Pennsylvania. <laughs> so do you, do, you, do you think Bitcoin's going away? Do, do, do you think that there's just concern over energy and all, this, all of that stuff is a, is a guise? It's sleights of hand. <laughs> It was the, if the U.S. wanted to be done with Bitcoin, they wouldn't allow stuff like this going on in Pennsylvania and in Texas. Why are they letting miners come to the U.S.? Why are they letting miners come to the U.S.? You ever think about that? If, this a, if there's a threat to the dollar, that is Bitcoin. Why are they letting miners mine Bitcoin in the U.S.? You ever think about that? The Pennsylvania company converts waste coal, a material left over from coal mining. I wonder if that's a good thing. Sounds like a good thing. Into power used to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Defined as a tier two alternative energy source by state Regulators, waste coal is equivalent to hydropower in its environmental impact. The company estimates that for each Bitcoin mined, 200 tons of waste coal is eliminated. It's eliminated. A negative impact on the environment has long been a criticism of Bitcoin mining. With good reason, Beer said in a statement, adding our ownership of the scrub grass plant in Kenderdale, PA, combined with the environmental benefits which accrue to the region, allow us to mine Bitcoin at what we believe to be some of the lowest costs in the industry while making a transformational contribution to the environment. Don't bring me the problem. Bring me the solution. <laughs> My mentor used to say, don't tell me about your fears. Tell me about your dreams. Right? Don't just come with the problem. Come with the solution. It's easy to identify the problems. Right? Think about that, guys. Think about that. Think about it. Think about it. Do you have an established portfolio, by the way? If you don't have one, dollar cost averaging right now, pretty cool deal. 
pretty cool deal. I'm 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 going to, you know, I'm playing in the space where I believe we're going. I have a established portfolio. I have an an established portfolio. Win moon, win moon. We'll take I'll take advantage of the market when the when it's bare. I'll take advantage of the market when it's bare. But for now, in this bull market, although it doesn't seem like one, I'm playing in the space that I believe we're going, which is cash flow. Cash flow. For sure. <laughs> What's going on, Willie Washington? Yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard, uh, you know, uh, Ripple was trying to bring former SEC employees. Don't know who it might be, though. Don't know if it's going to be Clayton or Hen Henman. We don't know. <laughs> to me, it doesn't matter if it's Clayton Henman or anyone, a former employee of SEC. Things will be exposed, brought to light. That will be harming, damning and harmful to the SEC. The SEC knows it. That's why they are looking to stop or block <laughs> Ripple's request. <laughs> Interesting stuff. We talked about this on the channel. That They're not letting this him and Clayton thing go. Some people are going to pick it up. Mainstream media will pick it up. Someone's going to pick it up and keep running with it. Next thing you know, there'll be a movie about it. <laughs> because it's where there's smoke, there's fire. And it seems very obvious to me that those dudes, both Clayton and Hinman, made moves to look out for themselves to the detriment of this new asset class. And to the detriment of the American people. Michael Cummings, good to see you, my friend. I love when the market is bleeding. I'm a shark in the water. I love when the market is high. I love when the market trades sideways. Indeed, so many ways to make money in this space, Siege. Thanks for your knowledge. You're welcome, brother. And exactly. So many ways. You don't have to be beholden to the ups and downs and ebbs and flows of the market. Of the market. You don't. You really, really don't. And if you if you really if you really caught what I just shared with you on that convex fine um, finance dot com, if you caught that, if you watched some videos on it, that's where we're going. Not, not a lot, right? Only thousand bucks or so over there. Let me see what that looks like. What does that look like in five to six days? What does that look like? What happens when I? Double that. What happens if I get to that every single month? What is that going to look like in per perpetuity? In perpetuity. Have you thought about that? Have, have you thought about the, the, the 90 to 120 billion in total value locked in the DeFi space? Are you snatching up some of those fees? Are you snatching up some of those fees? I ask you. I ask you. <sighs> I ask you. I don't know who that phone call is coming from. So, guys, that is some very, very interesting stuff. You know, that's that's been, you know, Alice Mashinsky has said this. Look, the Bitcoin mining is not going to stop. It will produce answers to problems. In other words, things will come around to solve electricity challenges, the, the, the environmental impacts. There'll be solutions. And he just, he suggests Bitcoin drives. In other words, Bitcoin comes with questions and challenges, which drives people to come up with solutions. Because it's not going away. Like, it's just not going away. <laughs> you know, it hasn't won the store of value argument, but it's leading it. It's leading. It's not going away. It doesn't matter that it's inferior technology. It has massive network adoption. Massive. And then people are coming around. They're waking up every morning and coming up with solutions to Bitcoin's challenges. 
That's what's going on. They're not being ignored. The challenges aren't being ignored. They're being addressed. <laughs> and let me show you another reason why I say that. PayPal and Visa tend to agree. Darren A.H. says, still out here earning interest regardless of what happened in the market. That's right. Celsius is one of those ways to do that. One of the ways. Oh, well, what happened to that? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there it is. Visa and PayPal join a crypto VC blockchain. Join Crypto VC Blockchain Capital's new $300 million fund. Visa and PayPal. That's to me speaks of a future. It's it. What do you think the leading? What do you think the leading asset is in that fund? <laughs> PayPal says it's the first time the company has invested as an LP in a fund focused on blockchain and digital assets. What do you think the leading digital asset is? It's three hundred million dollars. PayPal and Visa are chasing bets across the crypto industry as partners in Blockchain Capital's fifth venture fund. Blockchain Capital has five venture funds. A $300 million war chest announced Tuesday. The increasingly crypto savvy companies are relative newcomers to crypto VC. While both have invested directly in a handful of crypto startups, Joining as LPs, limited partners, means as an outside manager will place broader equity investment on their behalf. PayPal confirmed to Coindesk this is its first such arrangement with a crypto VC firm. Massive. Massive. Celsius is coming up with the card by way of Visa for you to use your assets and the value thereof. Pretty cool. Not your typical credit card, though. It's going to be a little different. $300 million, PayPal and Visa. But that just tells me that the market, yeah, it's not going away. It's blockchain and Digital assets, and I, I would suppose, I would suppose that Bitcoin's probably number one. I think it's really, really important that each of us need all of us and all of us need each of us. Be Larry of those. Be Larry of those that would try to divide and conquer. Be wary of those who suggest that it's their asset. And only their asset. Be, be careful of those who speak in those terms. What's going on, Bam Bam? Good to see you. It's great to see you. Lone Rider says Phantom DeFi, Tezos DeFi, Flare Finance. Simple. <laughs> Indeed. It is, right? Yeah. Got to look at what's going on with Ave. The, the rates are low. But guess what? The rates are low, and guess what I have the option to do? Withdraw my capital and move it elsewhere to go where my capital is treated best. I don't have to ask for permission. Don't have to pay fees to do so. Not under any obligation. I can just pick up my assets and take them elsewhere or you could just hang out on Celsius, man. You could just hang out there and be good. You can just hang out on Celsius.network and be good. It's your choice. The great thing is that we have choices. The great thing is we have choices. We don't have to be dependent upon a bank. We don't have to be dependent upon any type of government. We can just move our assets 
because they're valuable in this new asset class. That, my friends, is a really cool deal. I hope you appreciate that. I hope you understand where we are. It is a really, really cool deal. What's going on, Crypto Roger? Right? Exchanges, that's right. That's right, Crypto Roger. Exchange can hold your assets hostage. Got to be careful. A lot of stuff going on over there on Uphold. A lot of stuff going on over there with withdrawals of your assets. I, yeah, I'm not a fan, not a fan. Decentralized finance. Find out where everyone else is going, XRP Magnificent, and then get there first. Flare Finance, I mean, Flare Networks and Flare Finance, whoo, that's an opportunity for you and I to be first movers. Are you participating? Are you, are you worried about taxes? <laughs> taxes. Are you participating? Are you taking advantage of first movers advantage? Are you going to put yourself in a position to take advantage of, to, 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 to uh, become a first mover. Yeah, got to be careful, right? That's the great thing is we have so many options. I love it. DAG, I have not bought any DAG, XRP Magnificent. It's good to see you this morning. So guys, that's where we are. Do you, you, this is where we are, and, and I just encourage you, encourage you, to 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 think about where we're going. Don't concentrate on where we are, or where we've been. This is not 2017. This is a different game. This is a different game. This is a different different game. You can be a liquidity provider, a money a market maker. Yep, you little old you a liquidity provider and a market maker. Have you thought about that? Have you delved into just the simple liquidity provider and stable coins, which is your fiat, that dirty, nasty fiat turned crypto? Have you participated in what that looks like, what that feels like? Yeah. Have you checked that out? It's pretty cool. One swap right now for us XRP holders, XRP holders, is 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 the spot, in my opinion, for for me in the crypto season home. Certainly not giving any type of financial advice to anyone here on the channel ever. But for me, I got to be able to get some XRP on my XRP. I want to be a lender. I do not want to be held hostage to a Ledger Nano. I don't want my assets being held hostage to a ledger nano s or x i want to be a lender <clears throat> i want to be a lender and being paid to do so it's that in my friends is uh some powerful stuff what's going on german chavez or is it herman chavez from jersey what's good jersey's in the building I, th I think there's some withdrawal issues, bam, bam. It's when I saw uh, earlier on Twitter, Twitter. I just, I don't, you know, I want to be able to put my stuff on, take it off when I want. Not, well, there's some challenges and some challenges and some challenges. We should, we should have those challenges. <laughs> we should have those challenges fixed. Though. Like, uh Nope, nope, nope. I was playing around yesterday with Yearn Finance. Yeah, right now I was trying to deploy some one inch on there and it's, it's not working very smooth. It's not working smooth. Tried several times. It's not a whole lot of money, two or three hundred dollars in its, in its value. It keeps saying gas fees are in hundreds of dollars. Hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Yeah, hundreds of dollars. So interesting to say the least. Uh, who else checked in here? Did I miss somebody? I don't think I missed anybody. Go oh, cash flow one. What's good? 
Morning, Crypto Siege from Los Angeles. Good morning to you, bro. Appreciate you checking in. Cash flow one. I like that. Cash flow one. Indeed. That's what it's about, guys. When Moon, you know, you put 100000 on Celsius and Tether or USDC, more than likely, what you're going to get on that money? Have you figured out what that's going to look like? It's 8 10%. You thought about what that's going to look like? How does that compare with $100,000 on Convex, on Curve.fi? Have you done the numbers? What does it look like? I like being able to participate in the transactional fees of a platform that go on during the bear market or bull market, that, that go on whether the assets deployed are going up in value or down in value. You ever thought about that? I want to be Binance-like. I think that's what I'm going to use. I want to be Binance-like. I want to be Coinbase-like. Those platforms take on transactions. In the good market and the bad markets, whether the assets that they have on the platform go up or down, they're taking in transactional fees. You have an opportunity to do the same thing, the very same thing. It's pretty powerful when you think about it. It is really, really powerful when you think about it. So the market is what? I don't know. Let's see what the market's doing right now. Bitcoin is in the 30-something thousands that I do know. And until we get curve, what is curve right now? $1.43. Is that right? Dollar fifty-one. It's up ten percent. Cool. Let's look at the overall market. Uh, Bitcoin is at thirty-three thousand. Ethereum is at nineteen hundred and eighty-three. Uh, Joker is saying that uh, Ethereum has to close the week out above two thousand, or else it's big trouble. So we'll see how that goes. XRP is at sixty-two cents. Okay. Polkadot still on twenty bucks at sixteen dollars. Bitcoin Cash, my beloved Bitcoin Cash, $467. Uh-oh, Polygon is down to $1.19 now. It was just $1.41. So, yeah, so think about that. The overall market is $1.395 trillion. Now guys, we were at once, at one time, $2.5 trillion. So until we get back to that, what do we got? What do we have, Right. Ice Blast said, load it up on some XRP and some EGLD. Got some of that Elron Gold. Good for you, my friend. What's going on, M1 Chimusian? Good to see you. Good morning. Terrence Rafford, you got the Coinbase card. You're getting 4% in Stella Lumen with every use. Easy money. Very good. Nice. Check those fees out, bro. Check the usage fees out. I'm excited about quarter three. Celsius is coming out with their version of a card. Not going to be in any fees associated. It's going to be really cool. Looking good doing it. What's going on, my friend? Good to see you. GDLT is in the building. How are you, my friend? I checked out your stream. Yesterday, my dude. So that's where we are, guys. I'm gonna wrap this stream. I, I gotta go pick up the grandbaby. And we're gonna hang out, me and my son and grandbaby. We're gonna hang out, have a dude's day for sure. Any questions at all on the DeFi space? Don't hesitate to reach out. I'm gonna put my email for the channel. Crypto siege at protonmail.com. Yeah, and more than more than more than willing to hop on the phone and kind of share where I see it. Again, I do believe that this is where we're going. It's just it, we're going to a place where it's about cash flow. People are making thousands of dollars. Listen to me. People in crypto are making thousands of dollars a day. A day.
in crypto? Why not you? Why not you? Bull markets are going to come and then they're going to go into bear markets. It's about cash flow. Bear markets are going to come and then going to go into bull markets. It's about cash flow. It's about cash flow. The 1% of the 1% leverage their assets. They don't liquidate them. How are you, my friend? How are you leveraging the assets that you hold? What does it look like? If you're staking, which is entry level stuff, what's it look like? What's that look like? Can you stake and earn fees? Or are you just staking? There's a difference. There's a difference. Are you able to borrow against your asset or no? If you hold an asset, can you borrow against it? That's another level, right? There's levels to this stuff. Can you borrow against your collateral? Can you act like the 1% of the 1%? And what does it look like? Because some borrowing on your collateral is different than others. Are you familiar with the difference between borrowing on Celsius and borrowing on Abbe? Are you familiar with the differences? Are you participating in that? All right, guys, listen, I'm going to wrap up this stream like I do all of my streams. So great to see each and every one of you this morning. I have a feeling that I'm going to be on the Xbox One with my grandbaby. I have a feeling. <laughs> well, let me look at this. Lone Rider says 220 Tezos on Plenty DeFi gives you 30 bucks a day. 220? I, ha I have Tezos. I have to look into that. We'll have to chat on the phone, my friend, from Portugal. I have a little, I don't know, how much Tezos do I have? I have a little bit of Tezos. 30 bucks a day, guys. Let me check that out before we go. Let me check that out before we go, Lone Rider. 30 bucks a day is not bad. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. What's going on here? What is this? Okay, that's the price there. Let me see. Where is my... Let's see. Oh, no, I'm looking on the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm looking on my Exodus wallet. It's not on my Exodus wallet. It is on. Where is that at? Why is that not pinned? I'm ready to learn more about this Tezos block, what they're doing. I'm ready to learn more about that. What is it? Oh, man. Let's see. I you totally forgot. Let's see. Oh, okay. How many you say? How many did you say? How many did you say there? Did you say 220? Oh, okay. That's not bad. It's good staking returns, right? Uh, a friend just dropped 1,000 XTZ on it less than two hours. Less than two hours, 10 plenty at $2. LOL. Yeah. Let me look at that. Oh, 220. So I would have to get 100 more. What's the current price of Tezos? Oh, that's not bad. It's less than 300 bucks. Less than 300 bucks. And then you're getting $20, 30 bucks a day. That's pretty good. I have to look into that. 30 bucks a day. Oh, wow. Crazy APR. <laughs> That's crazy APR right now. 
That's not bad. 220, 20.6 uh, liquidity provider tokens, APR 860. Yeah. Yeah, I, I checked out plenty of DeFi too. All right, guys, I'm going to check out that some more. Let's talk loan, loan rider. Let's talk some more. See what's kind of going on. You got to snatch these things up when you can. Always a little bit of a risk there when you're deploying um, capital to these DeFi platforms. It's not Tezos. It's the things on Tezos, right? So you have to check that out some more. All right. Proof of stake, governance stake, no risk, right? So you got to be careful. That's right. You got to be careful of the risk associated with smart contracts, platforms building on reputables like, like Tezos. You got to be careful what builds on there. But once you do the risk reward, then you make your own decision to deploy your capital, your assets or not. I'm hanging out on blue chips right now. Ave, Curve, Sushi, your own finance. I'm hanging out on the blue chips. Taking little small percentages on the ones that are not very small percentages, less than 200 bucks. Seeing what goes on. That's how you do it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the stream like I do all of my streams and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. But that's OK, though, because you and I are already winning. Have a great rest of your day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.